my channel and today I'm going to talk about how a well-organized mother a well-organized wife leads to a happy mother and a happy wife and today my focus is going to be on the nursing mother the nursing mother most often than not when you're going out with your family you see that the woman or the nursing mother is always late and today I want to teach you how to be well organized in order to always be on time because when you are on time you get respect from yourself from your family and as well your family and your society and your community as well so let me briefly take you through what I do to be a well organized nursing mother so first of all when I have already planned my basket yeah so this is the basket that I carry my stuff my baby stuff in and after being um, a nursing mother what I use my basket for is for shopping because I always like to reuse my stuff so I prefer using the straw basket yeah this is made in Ghana yeah thank you so much so this is my basket that I always fill and I'm going to show you how I fill my basket and um, when I'm going out with my family it comes handy so it's always packed with the stuff that I'm going to show you so that immediately I finish dressing up I only carry my bath and then off we go yeah okay so this is the empty basket yeah so first of all um, what you need to pack first is your changing mat because when you are outside you don't want to put your baby on the floor on the bare floor so you must have a mat so this is the mat that I used for my baby. I lay it down and I put him on it and then I change him. So normally it's always folded. Yeah, it should always be folded nicely. So I folded it nicely and I put it in my basket. So I put it at the side so that when I'm about taking everything out, it's easy to get the changing mat out easily. Now I have to think about diaper. So normally I have about four spare diapers in my basket. So you have one, two, three, four, four bus uh, diapers. Then I also stuff it in this way. And in former times when we, in my generation, and the generation after me, yeah, they were not using diapers. They were using napkins. And I, I'm sure some villages in Africa still use this napkin so this is how the napkin looks like i love it i use it for my children and i still have one yeah so you fold it this way so in in the event that you have um used all your diapers and now you don't have anything left so this will be the last result so you fold it this way yeah, yeah? you fold it in a, tri a triangle form yeah and then you fold it again to get the thickness yeah so you have the thickness of the napkin so we normally call it baby napkins and because this is a bit light you want to um, make it a bit um, to be able to absorb the urine so you fold it also in this uh, rectangular form and then you put it in the middle yeah you put it in the middle and then you put your baby on it and then you fold it this way yeah and then this way and then this way and then you put your pin yeah you have your safety pin we, we also have a special baby pin now it is i'm not using it you use it to fasten it so that it doesn't come off and then you put on the pants for the baby and then in the event that like I don't have my pin right now you could just hold it this way and then fasten it you fasten it strong yeah and then voila here you go your baby is inside and it can contain your baby's uh, wee wee yeah so I also have these two always because you never know because sometimes your baby can have a running tummy and they can do a lot of Number two, then you have a spare with you that helps you to um, change your baby and you don't make a mess of 
the baby and also make, don't make a mess of yourself as well yeah so now i fold also nicely back into my basket yeah then always the almighty wipe yeah the almighty baby wipe yeah so you also have your wipe inside your basket all in the form of being handy and you must also have a powder yeah yeah after you have finished wiping your baby you pour the ba um, the powder around the parts so that it has a, a pleasant smell yeah and then i also have baby oil yeah baby oil to also um smear around the bottles so that it doesn't have a nappy rash and if you don't have a baby oil you can also use vaseline you use vaseline for um the bottles area because this really prevents nappy rash most often than not um we are not told or we are not educated on how to uh, prevent nappy rash from happening to our baby so these are good um, products you need to use, but I'm not recommending that you use the exact brand I am using. You can also use any other brand that you like. Yeah, so this is also in my basket handy. And we also have um, the baby pool polythene bag. Yeah, so I also have my polythene, small polythene bag, so that when my baby pools is um, scented, so that um, because we are in a car, maybe in a public transport, you don't want your baby's pool to smell and everybody's like, ah, oh, what offensive smell. So you take your scented uh, polythene bag, then you put the diaper, you fasten it nicely, then you put it inside the uh, bag and then you fasten it. Yeah, after fastening it, you put it in the boots of your car. Or if you, you are not driving your own car, you should find it way somewhere in uh, another bag so that you don't add it up to your stuff. Now, I also like to have a baby's small towels. In the event that um, the pool of the baby smells so much and you don't want that, sometimes the wife does not, um, it cleans well, but then um, the traditional way, you can also um, pour water in your um, small towel and then you also use it to um, clean the genital areas for the baby so I always normally um, use two I always want to have two spare and so I'm arranging so I prefer to have these ones at the bottom of my basket so nicely packed now also don't forget that you must have changing clothes because sometimes the pool of the baby will stain the inner of your baby's dress. Or even sometimes, if you're not lucky, it even comes true to the trousers or the dress. So in other to have spent, yeah, so I have my inner dress, my inner baby dress, also nicely um, packed. Then I also put it, yeah, inside. Then I also have the um, pants. Yeah, that is if you don't have the inner and you just use a singlet, then I always, um, some of the items I like to have two in, yeah, so this is also an inner for my baby, yeah. The other one is without sleeve, so when it's a bit colder, then I can use the short sleeve or maybe the long sleeve. I always like to have two different types, yeah, depending on the weather in which you are. And also don't forget socks. Yeah, sometimes um, your baby don't want to wear shoes, you have a spare socks for the baby so that in case it dirties the other one, then you have one spare socks for your baby. So it's nicely put. And also a hat, yeah, you know, to also um, in your baby basket, yeah. And then these are also dresses, yeah. I also have dresses. Maybe if you have more than them, um, another maybe a four or five years old son, you could also have one dress for your son because they also make mess of their dress so that you can change and not to say you are going to wear their diaper. So I keep one for my older son. And then more of the baby dress because you don't want to have a dirty baby. You must always make sure your baby is so neat and adorable for yourself, yeah? And also for your family as well. So I keep these extra in my basket, yeah? So you see how I'm stuffing my basket. 
And um, in the era of Corona, you must always have a sanitizer in your bag. You must always have a sanitizer. So you don't want your children to be infected with Corona. So it is important you have a sanitizer in your bag. So I also add it. And then also comb. Yeah. You also want to comb because after changing your baby's um, dresses, you make mess of their hair. So you must have some comb to comb their hair so they look nice. Yeah. So you must also, I also prefer to have two. So I also have it in my basket. And as I said, maybe you are in a rush. You are so late. And other not to forget because there are certain public areas that you are not allowed to enter if you are not wearing nose masks. So I also keep one extra nose mask for myself. Yeah, I keep one extra nose and also for my baby. Yeah, so, so this is for my baby and this is for myself. So I keep one. Of course, I wear one whilst I'm going out. But in the event that you are late and you have to rush out of the house, it's important you have. So I also have a spare. I keep it in this corner of and also have a pad for me yeah because sometimes you know although you have your handbag but immediately your nursing mother is very difficult to keep up with your handbag so this becomes your handbag so i also try to keep an extra sometimes you have this um unannounced um visitor coming so you must always have some spare i also have and then sometimes the reason i keep to maybe you are out with your friend and the unfortunate happens oh please you have something to help me to protect myself so what okay, i have to then you keep it you give your friend one and immediately you come back home you restock because don't forget this is the emergency baby back the emergency baby back yeah and um i also have in the events that you also forget um your your marks you also can have something like this and then yeah, it's also like a, a hood or yeah, then you cover your baby because sometimes the baby doesn't like those stuff around their nose so you can just keep it like this and then you cover the, you tie it and then you fasten it at the back and then it's, the baby likes it. Yeah, I've tried this several times so I also keep this also in my bag. And then if you're in a cold area, of course you have already um, dressed your child out uh, for going out and sometimes um, the baby will make a mess of the uh, um, winter clothing or the pullover so you must always have a spare pullover so this is a spare pullover for my baby that I keep in my bag so see everything is nicely fastened and then from where I come from in Africa Ghana to be precise we back our babies you know I, I normally don't like the ones that the European one. I, I, I want to feel more African, so I use this for my um, baby. And uh, sometimes people ask me, how do you do it? So maybe I'll demonstrate to you how I do uh, my... So you hold it this way, and then you put your baby at your back. You put your baby at the back this way. And to have a firm grip, yeah, so the baby is at your back this way. You hold the cloth this way, then you tie it, yeah? You tie it this way, one, and then you tie it again, two, yeah? And then you put your hand in here, yeah? So after putting your hand in here, then you try to also secure the legs of the baby. So the baby is here, you secure it this way, and then you also do another, uh, you fasten another knot here, yeah? and voila your baby is at your back but for me i always like to have my baby in front of me so then you try to pull this so you bring in your baby yeah you're bringing it out and then voila so your baby will be here so even if your baby is crying you could just pull your breast and give it to your baby and i, I like it more here but most of the time some people prefer to have the baby at their back but I prefer to have my baby in front for um, to protect my baby more and also for um, breastfeeding easily. Yeah. So this is the purpose of this cloth. So whilst I'm not going to back my baby, whilst we're going out, I will fold it nicely. So this is how I fold my cloth. Yeah. Into two. Yes, I know most of you know how to do it, but for the young ones who don't know how to a fold cloth 
this is how we do it yeah nicely nicely and then voila it's done it's done nicely so yes it becomes smaller and then i place it in my basket then now it's also important to have tissue you know maybe their nose you can also use the baby wipe but i always prefer to have some of these things the spare one maybe yourself you wash your hands and you want to dry it then you use it to dry it nicely so it's also nicely done here then i also have some sweets uh, some mint maybe you finish eating you're out and then you want to refresh your mouth and then you just pick one of the mint and then you go then as uh you know when you go out it's also all about networking of course now this is also a spare cloth that i need just to maybe you are pushing your baby in a, a, a wagon um, a baby car and the sun is up you could also use this to cover the baby from the sunshine you protect the baby from the sunshine so it's also important to have it yeah so it's also nicely done as i said earlier on um also for networking for networking uh maybe your phone i know people say i can just take it um on my phone but sometimes you realize you have low battery and you cannot um take the number or some address you've seen something you want to write it's important that you have a notebook and a pen you know as usual, you always like to have two and then maybe a pencil and sometimes you can also put some papers or some book for your four or five years old son to scribble something in your book or on a piece of paper to keep them attention because sometimes they become all jitchy so it's important and this also i put it at the bottom of my um, basket nicely yeah so it's also here nicely and then also don't forget tissue yeah tempo yeah to also have one spare just like the other tissue i showed you and last but not the least will be snack snack for your baby yeah so if your baby is has started eating then whatever baby food you have you just carry that one yeah or maybe you prepare your own food and you have a spare bowl and then spoon as usual i have two i have one plastic and then one metal so i keep this also in my basket then um also a snack a healthy snack milo yeah that's a free advert for milo yeah so i normally don't like the juices because sometimes they really spoil the baby's teeth so i prefer to have this nice beverage to accompany my road trip so this is also nicely done and also water don't forget to stock your uh, bottle with water for the baby but sometimes maybe they don't want to have this um drinks then you have water with you yeah for the baby all the time as i said but for the uh, water all these ones you don't for this you don't stock your basket because this is an emergency basket you stock um, the water when you're going out but before you go out make sure this is filled and then you put it in your basket and also some little snack for your journey and you are ready to go so now i show you my basket yeah it's handy thank you so much yeah so for the young mothers this is how to become a well-organized wife and a well-organized mother to have a happy home to run a happy home you need to be well organized see you next time in my next video thank you so much don't forget to subscribe to my channel and the name is Zop lady and tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend about Zop lady i have a lot lot of content in store for you yeah have a nice day, lovely people. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.